Chris here. We're here to review. This video is, um, I'm review. Uh, okay. Uh, I was just checking the audacity to see if it was recording. But anyways, um, this review was originally gonna be with RPG from my um our second channel RPG Funnest, but um, uh, the audio failed for his end, and it was kind of glitchy for my end. I don't know why, like, I never changed my Bandicam settings. Uh, if you guys are wondering what software I use, I use Bandicam. Um, but, it actually kind of sucked because we had some fair points that I kind of forgot. But, uh, anyways, um, this is Minion Masters. It's a very decent game. Um, one thing I do want to say in all this is quite a few because... Um, I actually earned rubies. That's premium currency, by the way. But uh, anyways, basically, what our main things what we were going to say is for the power tower or this, they should add um a cheaper or a thing more cheaper thing they can get without paying for it. Because <sighs> sorry guys about that. Like I'm I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a cold. Like, they should add, like, an uncommon, common thing over here. I mean, sure, there's a free one, but, like, you can, and they should change this to every six hours. Um, I completed the solo challenges. I tried a few matches online. I did not like it because I've been playing a lot of people that bought, like, a extreme amount of shit. Like, i seen the same rank as me have, like, this Blood Swarm. Um, like, some of these bullshits, and, like, seriously, like, these, bruh. But, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter about that, like, if you want to be a pay-to-win player, pay-to-try-to-win, um, it's alright. But, um, like, the daily quests, or daily challenges is time-consuming, I mean, that is kind of easy if you play, like, maybe a few matches, but, um, for me, I, I'm, I only played until I completed a tutorial, which was extremely easy, it only took about an hour, um, an hour, or maybe 30 minutes, but, um, yeah, these is, this is my deck, a uh, blue golem is kind of, uh, um, a very tank like <laughs> it's it's very strong some of these things are kind of useless dagger fall is kind of useless compared to fireball I mean sure it's three mana versus four mana this one is kind of overpowered because it's three and it can summon like any kind of four mana card which is kind of cool I got it from a power thing um but yeah like the shop like the pricing of the game is basically worth this much, 3,350 rubies, which totally don't understand. Like, I would, like, the pricing, I got this game free, say, um, so I can review the game. The developer sent me two codes for me and RPG to review, but the audio failed. But anyways, I, I wouldn't have bought, I wouldn't buy this game for $20. I'm not trying to destroy the pricing or anything, but it's, if you wanted to play a game like this, I play Crash Royale, uh, and it's a free to play game, and with the $20 you can buy chests in that game, but like, I would recommend this game being like, this is just my opinion, like, the graphics are alright. Um, Crash Royale is a free to play and it's like exactly this, it's just a buy game or a better graphic game than Crash Royale developers, uh, I, I sorry, but uh, being my honest opinion, it's, it's what I do reviews for, but um, I mean sure this game has its unique shit, like, but another thing, you have to pay for masters and the arenas, like, I mean sure that's everything, like, <coughs> Sorry guys about that again. Um, like 10, 10 tokens is 750, which is five bucks. Or you can spend $20 or $19. And let's see, it's, I don't even know. It's 1500. Oh, yeah, 15. 
to 714 plus plus. So you can basically buy four if you buy this. At least that's what I think. I don't know. I math not. <laughs> but uh, anyways, like you can be overpowered just for spending twenty dollars in the game. I mean, if this game was like ten dollars, then you can spend another ten dollars on rubies. And then it'll be like complete dead even. You have some shit to um, go with against like pay to win or pay to style or some shit. I'm not saying people actually pay to win. I don't know. But um, from what I've seen, like some of these players I have versed online, I got my ass kicked. But um, yeah, my pricing review would be like a 5 out of 10, a 4 out of 10. The game review, it's not bad, but it's like a... I'm a very hard guy to please in games, <laughs> so my review would be about a 4 or an average 5 out of 10, just for the game, like the gameplay is basic, it doesn't have any special moves, everything's with cards, I mean sure this is a card based game, but it uh, doesn't have really any unique things besides the heroes. Like, they should add something, I mean, and the Masters, but you have to pay for the Masters unless you want to get them with the free rotations. I mean, sure, all is well, you can get them with shards, but in doing so, to get the shards, you have to get cards, which you have to get the power tokens, which cost money. And getting gold coins is not easy. I mean, sure, you can do this shit, but just like that. That's only two cards, and that's probably like a couple hours, maybe an hour. Maybe probably like 20 minutes just to get two of these. So it's not really worth anything. But anyways, guys, um, I, I know I'm still new to reviewing. So if you guys don't enjoy my opinions, then, well, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to check out this game, uh... Which, I would recommend for the developers to at least change the pricing to $15 because there's not much special about the game besides paying, you buy the game and you have to pay more just to unlock arenas and shit. But um, anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap the like button down below. Um, I don't know what next game I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to be reviewing a couple or maybe five more games in this maybe next month or two because... I, uh, um, developers contacted me and I contacted some developers. See if they send me games like I'm going to re be reviewing Planet Coaster, um, Hurt World, um, possibly Revelations Online if the developers fucking reply to me and well, they said they were going to hook me up. Which, Revelations Online, motherfucker, please fucking hook me up, bruh. But anyways, uh, there's a couple other games I'm going to be reviewing, like Rust, a developer sent me a Rust code. Me and RPG is going to review that game in the future, or maybe just me because RPG can't, uh, um, his computer I don't think can play it. I don't know, we might figure that out, or he might be able to play it, I don't know. But anyways, goodbye, peace.